remember syrup sandwiches and crime allowances for this a nigga with some counterfeits but now I'm counting So I just came to Belmont, North Carolina to get my insurance renewed and oh my god, this, this Z out here, oh man, look at this, look at it, would you just look at it, oh man, look at that, mm, come on, do a Bernie Sanders, do it, I know you want So I just got to the mall, I'm about to get my eyebrows done, but look at this freaking sunset. Just the little things, guys. This sunset is freaking beautiful. Look at that orange blue. That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, it makes me really happy, actually. I, I like that sunset a lot. Oh wait, do you, do you wanna do a, a cool transition? You wanna do a, you wanna roll around the world? Is that what you guys wanna do? All right, let's, let's do it. All right, one, one, two, one, two. I'm not supposed to be like this. Just got to Logan's where I'm meeting some of my friends, and I heard a Mustang go around here. Oh, they're parking up there at discount tires. I guess they're all parking over there. Poor Jordan, I always get left out. He has a vacuum leak, think he should have that fixed. If not, if not, he's gonna lose piston eight. Like tomorrow. No, it's a bugger, it's a bugger. Well, when you roll with a group of 15 people with Mustangs, you can't go to Texas Roadhouse. You get here, and then you have a three hour wait. You have to go to another place, so we're going to Tavern 24. It's like being in a car group. When, when there's a man standing behind your car, the best thing to do is just rev. <laughs> Got me. I need you guys to see his glasses. You guys, wanna know where this is going? You wanna know where this is going? You wanna know where this is going? What? Streaming grids. I know, the streaming grids. Streaming grids. Exactly. Is that a Halo Kid? Is it? Oh my god. That sounded kinda cool. It said engine on. Yeah, didn't realize that. There's a vacuum leak and a sensor problem. His engine's gonna blow up if he does not fix this. He's a neglect of Mustang driver. So big! Yes! God, look at that! Massive penis! What's going on guys? So it is the next day and I wanted to talk to you guys just for a quick second. So you saw at the beginning of the video, I finally hit 365 on bench press. Just to put some perspective on that 365, I've been going for that for around three years now. I've been trying to hit 365 and I've just been failing and failing and failing. I've probably attempted it like, I don't know how many times, a lot. And it's been really difficult. Just it's It's been a long road trying to get 365 on bench press, guys. I remember I got 315 for the first time 
when I was 17, 18, something like that. I can't remember exactly. Um, but I got 315 and 365 was the next thing that I wanted. Three plates and a quarter. I wanted it so bad and it took me so freaking long to get it. But I had to fail so many times before I got it. And there were certain times where I put 365 on the bar and lifted it up and, and, and failed. And I was like, this is, this feels like I'm trying to lift up the work. Like it, it felt really, really heavy. And I just was thinking, when am I ever going to bench press this? When am I ever going to take this down and press it back up again? And so yesterday, bench pressing 365, it, it felt so good after failing so many times over and over and over and over again, just wanting to get it, wanting to, wanting to let it fall down on my chest and press it back up and succeed on that press. It felt so freaking good. The next goal in bench press is to get down to 165 pounds body weight in bench press, 365 pulsed. And the goal after that is going to be 405, period, at whatever body weight. I want that 405, I want that four plate bench. Hopefully in the next two or three years we can get that four plate bench. Also guys, I know I'm a serious online fitness coach and you know, I have all the stuff that I'm doing, but you saw me up, my friends. I like to have a good time, I like to chill. Like Everyone needs to have those moments where they just hang out and just be silly and be stupid and just do whatever. I think, I think everyone needs that. So if you're like me, and you're always putting in like 100% effort and just going hard, going hard, going hard. Like once a week, just every once in a while. You have to be mindless and be dumb and just do things that don't require a lot of mental or physical effort just to kind of give yourself a break, to give your mind a deload, to give your body a deload, to just chill out for a couple of hours and do something that's not productive because being not productive once a week is going to carry you into being more productive throughout the week. With that, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this vlog. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really do. If you did enjoy this video, please click that like button. Comment if you have any questions or concerns. Until next time, guys, all love. And oh, by the way, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and, go ahead and click that subscribe button and ring that bell.